guys and welcome back to my channel and today I'm doing another one of my famous huge AliExpress hauls. So over the past two weeks I've just accumulated like a ton of stuff from Napoa Gym. Basically all their new launches. Rider Wear Dupe short sets. We got some more high-waisted flex dupes that actually aren't bad this time. Seamless tops, cool sports bras, other seamless sets. Really just a lot of great stuff and I'm just going to go into like medium detail of everything. Just basically gonna tell you what you need to know but it's not going to be like five minutes on everything because we have a lot of stuff to cover. I just have one of everything here not all the colors but I did try everything on so you will see all the colors in the actual try on clips so without further ado let's get talking I'm going to put the prices on the screen somewhere so you'll know the prices of all of the items first we're going to talk about the flowing sets so these sets are really cute they come in three kind of more neutral colors which I like that they're doing some neutral colors because I feel like some brands just forget about that sometimes I have this kind of like earthy brown taupish tone so I really love this set. It's a nice performance material. It has some cute little like, almost like, I don't know, cable knit like sweater pattern detailing, but in a delicate, cute way. These sets are really functional for the gym, perfect for leg day. They have that nice performance material. They're not brushed and they're not quite slick, but they definitely hold up during workouts. They're also super stretchy and have a decent amount of compression to them as well. I'd say about a medium compression. They have a ribbed double thickness waistband. The waistband isn't super thick. It's not going to give you a lot of lower tummy control, but it does compress nicely up at the top here. This collection really reminds me of the Balance Athletica Quartz collection that came out. So if you're looking for a dupe for the Quartz collection, honestly, these are pretty similar. They're seamless. They have a little bit of that diamond detailing going on. I don't know. They also have the same detailing from the bra going down the leg of the legging. Everything is true to size. I wear a size small in these and it fits me perfectly. The sports bra comes with these like really, really thick like push up pads, which just like really doesn't work for me. They just basically like squishes my whole boob out of the bra so then it doesn't really work. But I just took out the pads and it's honestly fine. Still a very, very low support sports bra. As you can tell, it just like has very thin straps, but it's really cute if you don't need a lot of support. It has this little like crisscross strappy detail on the back and yeah I'm really loving this set next we have the victory bras basically it's just a simple seamless tank top with a cute little ribbed detail it's kind of a scoop neck in the front and then a little V in the back it says that it's high support on the website it's not high support it's like very low support but it's just kind of like a casual comfy like bralette style sports bra I feel like you could also wear this as a cute little crop top with like some jean shorts or something it just looks like really basic and cute it doesn't like scream gym wear to me it also comes in a bunch of cute muted colors and a little yellow as well the sizing is true to size. I prefer my smalls in all of these. I also have a medium in the black one and it feels the same as a small in the other colors. So maybe the black runs a little small, but I don't think you can go wrong with your normal size since worst case, you'll just get a little bit more compression since this is like a very stretchy material. These ones, unfortunately, also had this super thick push-up padding, so I also had to take it out. But I'm thinking I'm just gonna throw in some padding from a different Napoa Gym sports bra because usually Napoa Gym has really good padding, honestly. It's like really big and it covers a lot of space and it doesn't crinkle up easily. I just like am confused why they started using this one in these, so. Next, I am so excited about this. These are the angle seamless crop tops. So I used to be obsessed with like short sleeve crop tops. I just think they're so cute. Throw them on top of some leggings. It's a great way to like still be wearing a crop top and show a little bit of skin, but you're also really covered up in your neck and your shoulders aren't exposed. So also perfect for like going on a hike or something if you don't want to like get too much sun. These really remind me of my old Gymshark flex crop tops that like were pretty compressive and just like very simple and basic. These are made of a thick, compressive performance material. Really great for sweat, really great for breathability. It just has that slick performance material and just like really holds you in very well. It's also great if you're not wearing a super supportive sports bra and you put this on over. If you have your normal size, it should compress a little bit and give you a little extra support there. The crop top actually isn't too cropped. It extends a few inches below your bra, so you're never gonna expose any of your bra. And it also just adds like a little bit more coverage, which I love in a crop top. I don't like when they're right below my boobs, you know? They also have have little perforated contour detailing in the front they have a little v and in the back it is a bigger v and just keep in mind if you don't like to show off like whatever sports bras underneath this actually is see-through so you can actually see your sports bra underneath so that could be a cute way to add a little pop of color because these are neutral colors but if you don't like that just keep in mind you can see underneath it 
As for sizing, I think I preferred the medium just because the small was just like a little too compressive for me. So it just depends what you want. I do have a larger chest, so I'm kind of between a small and medium and tops. I preferred my bigger size, but if you really want a lot of compression, I would go with like your normal to smaller size. If you don't want a lot of compression, definitely size up in this top. I still think it would look really cute and it wouldn't look like baggy. It just would be less compressive. Next, for all my people requesting full length tops, we finally have one. These are the Dream Seamless Tops. So yes, it is a full length top, which isn't my personal favorite, but I honestly could like tie it up and I think it'd be cute. It's definitely not the same material as the crop tops. This is a much more like feathery, lightweight material. It feels a lot more brushed to the touch and it's just like seriously like the thinnest fabric I've ever seen. It's really thin, but honestly, I really love thin tops because the time that I wear tops is if I'm like going on a hike or I'm gonna be outside and I don't really just wanna be wearing a sports bra because I wanna like, you know, protect myself from the sun. So I think that these are a great choice for that because they're so lightweight, they're not gonna make you like sweat a lot, but they're gonna be there. So the contour detailing on this top is not see-through like the crop top. It's just like a little more lightweight and airy. They also have these little perforated holes down the front. These are see-through, but you can't like see very much through them. So I don't think it's like really concerning. And I think it just adds like a little extra way to like get a little more breathability in. So I preferred the size small on this top. The medium just had like a little too much extra space for me. And when it comes to tops like this, I do like them to be a little more fitted and a little tighter. And because this fabric isn't super compressive, I would definitely go with your smaller or normal size because this material isn't that compressive. But if you do want a looser fit, you could definitely do a size up and it would have a nice amount of extra space. And now for the third edition high-waisted flex leggings. So these are also known as the infamous Miami leggings. If you're gonna leave me a comment asking why they say Miami, I don't know. I have no idea, like who came up with this? Last time they made the high-waisted flex leggings, they said fitness on the back. And I know I saw so many comments on their Instagram saying, please get rid of the words. Just put the colored bar. We don't want any logos. One of the things I love about Napoleon Gym is that their items aren't heavily logoed. Like it just looks like you're wearing a basic gym outfit, which I think is really cute. And like, why Miami? Like, I'm not going to Miami. Should I send this to my friend who lives near Miami? Like, besides the fact that I am confused about this Miami piece, I actually really liked the leggings. So they currently only come in size extra small, small, and medium. And I would actually say they're decently true to size and they're definitely not as small as the last ones. If you guys remember the last high-waisted flex leggings, I couldn't even get the mediums all the way on. And these I could actually get the extra small on too. Basically the sizing is so much better. These are much more stretchy and just have a lot more give to them. The fabric just feels much more luxurious. They just are like 10 times better of a legging. I have the red in a size small and I actually really didn't struggle to get them on at all. Like it wasn't hard. The waistband fit perfectly. There was no extra space. So the red and the small for me was like a perfect fit. The black, I have in a medium and they were surprisingly harder to get on than the small in red. Sometimes when fabrics are darker, like especially black, they're a little less stretchy. So they're a little harder to get on. So I would definitely size up in the black. Unfortunately, they only come in size extra small to medium. So you're a little limited on the size range. This is really for like the lower end of sizes. I hope they come out with more sizes soon because I actually really like these. And I also hope they get rid of the logo. These would be so cute and just a basic legging, please. No one needs this, no one needs that. And the grays, I have in an extra small, and as you can see, I could actually get them on and they actually fit like decently well. The only thing was like in the depth of my squat, they definitely felt a little tight down here, which is why I would just go with your normal size. Again, all my measurements are in the description below. Basically with the high-waisted flex leggings, you have this band at the top that says Miami, um, and then you have a little contour detailing here, a little darker contour detailing down the side that leads to a little like lower booty contour detailing. So it's very subtle lower booty contour, but it's still there and it gives you a little bit of shape. They also have a little line down the front as well. You can't really see it very well, but it is there and they're full length on me. And lastly, the rider wear dupes. So first, the shorts. So the shorts have a super high waistband, like super high. I tend to like to roll them down a little bit personally, but you can definitely wear them high if you really like high-waisted leggings. I know a lot of people like to cover as much stomach region as possible. So these are really high-waisted. The inseam is pretty short. I would assume this is about a two inch inseam. So they are gonna roll up a little bit and they're definitely not gonna cover a lot of thigh region. So if you're looking for a short that covers a decent amount of your thighs, I wouldn't go for these. But if you like basically like booty shorts, these are really cute. I love 
the fabric of these shorts. It's this really nice performance marl material. It's not gonna pill, but it's also not like super shiny and cheap looking. They also have kind of a subtle like little widow's peak booty contour, which actually lies a pretty decent amount above your butt. So it's actually pretty flattering and it goes down the side right there. So the sizing of these shorts, I got a small in all of them. The sizing is a little bit mixed. The black and the gray definitely felt the best on me. Again, like I just mentioned with the high-waisted flex leggings, sometimes darker fabrics tend to have a little less stretch to them. Sometimes they're a little bit smaller. I definitely felt like that was the case because the black and the gray fit me perfectly. I didn't really have extra room anywhere. All of the other colors were definitely stretchier just a little bit because they're all like super stretchy, but they definitely had a little more room for me. I personally don't think I could have sized down a full size, but I would say if you're in between sizes, definitely take your smaller size. But if you're not in between sizes, I'd probably go with your normal size just because I don't think they're like really, really big. They're just like a teeny bit big. But yeah, these shorts are honestly really cute and I'm so glad they came out with a matching sports bra top so you can actually wear a full set. So I really love these sports bras. My only thing is that they definitely don't have a lot of support. They do have a high neck and it kind of comes in and like tapers at your neck a little bit. And because of that, you can have a little risk for some side boob and it's also just like not the most supportive. I still wear these for like lightweight upper body days where I'm not like running around too much, but just know if you have a larger chest, you're probably not gonna love this top. But if you have a smaller chest, I think they're really, really cute and the back detailing is really fun. It has this little mesh detailing in the back and it's actually like breathable mesh and it's actually really high quality too. Like I've like gotten my nails through these and they haven't broken. It has this little racer back shape with a little open thing at the bottom. And the pads on this bra are actually really, really good. They're not like the super thick padded ones. It's just like a thin layer of padding and it just does a nice job of adding a little bit of extra support and just covering the whole boob. And you can't see the pad when it's on, which everyone knows that's one of my pet peeves. I hate when you can see the pads in a sports bra. You definitely can't see them in this. This rider wear set comes in like so many colors. They definitely expanded their color range and I really love like the like nice bright colors and they have neutrals. So they really have something for everyone. All right, I really hope I didn't forget anything. I will have links to everything down below. I haven't done an AliExpress review in a while, so give this video a thumbs up if you still love those. And subscribe if you're not already, and turn on the bell because I have a lot of exciting videos coming up. All right, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye.